it's just a complete team effort. It wasn't one area that outshined the other. So what what kind of were your overall thoughts on, on today's game? Well, um, they played really hard. The only thing I look, I'm a stats guy. I was just disappointed in nine penalties. Uh, Got to clean that up. But some of those, like one of them, we took intentionally. One of them or two of them, I'd question maybe. But but I thought our guys had a really good week. You know, I thought we were better than what we had played. But until you play, you don't really know. You know, so it was good. It, you know, got some turnovers defensively. Got some stops. You know, offensively ran the ball a little bit, and uh, got some explosive plays, you know. And that's a that's a solid group of five programs. Been Division One for um, how many years? We've been Division One for one year. So we, you know, we got a lot of work to do still. I mean, our guys know that. But to get a good win at home, at homecoming, great crowd, great weather. I love it hot like this. Um, it was give our guys a little bit of boost. And, and as I told them in the locker room, let's enjoy it for a day or two, and then – and we got to get to work for our conference schedule and and uh, build on this, build on this on the, on this game. Well, maybe a little bit when we got some turnovers. I was like, gosh, you know that that that's nice, you know, you know, and then uh, capitalized on them uh, as well. So uh, you know that part of it, and then we you know we got we got some stops on the run game, some some short yarder stops, which was we hadn't done all year. Got that for the first time, so. You know, there, there were some good things. You know, I think we made some adjustments on defense in, in the last week or so. Uh, and there's still a little bit more that, uh, yeah, you can't start a press conference without Miss Rita here. Jeez, I mean. Uh, but it's, um, I said, we played kind of football. I thought we could or could or should have played from the, from the, from the start. But at least we got it now, and then we got to build from it uh, going forward. Well, I mean, it wasn't any so much scheme-wise. I think you're still getting comfortable with what we're doing. I think having enough confidence. It's like a couple plays, you know, that interception uh, on their sidelines. Who was it? Was it, it was like a 50-50 ball? Is that Jabari or? Yeah. I mean, that's I mean that's the kind of stuff we've seen, and they just got to play with that kind of confidence because you know we have the corners and the safeties, that, particularly at corner. We're we're I think we're really deep at corner, and those guys can make those kind of plays. And it was good to see, and they got challenged. They, you know, they kept throwing it back up there, and and they and they really responded. How satisfying is it to you to see those guys turn in that kind of performance? Well, you know, I know how work, how hard they work. You know, I was here all summer, and you know, I watched these guys. You know, their their commitment during the summer to getting better was as good as we've had, and it's frustrating when it didn't show up in games. And you know, I I keep telling myself to be patient because you know we're a one year Division One team. You're not. We're not. We don't have years of building that uh, type of program up yet. But I also know that we were, knew that we were better than what we had played, uh, certainly. And I think today that was an indication of that. Six for 11 for the offense on third down, just a huge improvement in the last three games. Just what was different today in those short yardage Pro Probably, yeah. I said the difference was we the, sh the third downs were all short yardage ones. And we got some push. We didn't, it's nothing we, we did. Trick, tricky wise or anything like that. You know, Tyler's a tough runner. He's a physical runner. Uh, Trey Stewart's a hard guy to bring down. He, he runs hard. And it was good to see Q Lewis. He's a smaller guy. But, uh, you know, and Andrew Paul was out. So and we were ready to play Mike Franklin as well. But the biggest difference for us was getting some movement up front. You know, that we needed to do a better job of that in short yardage than we did today. What do you like about Reginald Hughes out of the portal? He had 2.5 tackles for loss today. Yeah, Reggie's a, he's a, uh, He's a, an excitable guy. He loves to play. You know, he's very athletic, and he's a physical, physical guy. And he's, again, he's, he's new, so he's just now learning. He's like a freshman in our system. But um, he, I thought, you know, again, I'll have to watch the film, but I thought he played pretty actively um, and with a lot of emotion and physicality, and, and he can do that. I, you know, I hope he'll take that next step. Tyler? Yeah, I mean, he had one one bad he'd uh, pick that he'd take back, but he knows right away when he does it. But uh, he does a good job of seeing the field, and he doesn't panic. I mean, there could be a lot of stuff going on around him, and and uh, you know, again, he's still learning. But uh, you know, he's he's got really good arm strength and really good accuracy. Uh, but I think his athleticism is sometimes overlooked, and his ability to to maybe just make a little move in short spaces to get a first down or to create some space.
Exactly. Well, yeah, hell, yeah, who, who wouldn't take that right left? Let's let's have a few turnovers and run the ball well. Uh, that that's a pretty good sign. But it is true. I mean, uh, you get a little bit momentum, and not only that, but the thing about turnovers or three and outs is that you, you force that other defense to go right back out there in a hurry when they're already a little bit tired, you know. So tempo is such a big deal for us. And, you know, when you don't get three and outs or you don't get turnovers, you can't really establish the tempo the way you want. Uh, and today, the turnovers in particular uh, helped us get the tempo, especially in a hot day like today. What do you like about Trey Stewart coming out of the Trey's got a great – I mean, I watched Trey. He's a Division II guy, and you watch him on film. And you're like, oh, he looks pretty uh, athletic. And then, you know, he got in here with a with a with a solid weight program, nutrition program. So he knew he was going to take the next step. But he's just got a he's got like a knack for uh, making people miss or getting yards sometimes when they're not there. Uh, he's just a really good football player. I mean, he did a couple pass protections today that was next level kind of stuff. So, you know, he's he's really come on. Yeah, we got to get, as I told the team, you got to build on this and get better. Because, you know, when the conference game starts, especially with these midweeks, I mean, we play a game on a Friday and then turn around and play on a Wednesday. You know, are you kidding me? Five days. So, I mean, that's, that, that just doesn't happen very often. So, you, you got to get ready in the next 10 days for us. We got to get ready for that grind of the conference because they're going to come right up on top of each other pretty quickly. For that, what's that? Just do it so you can ask a question while we do it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we just, you know, the kid, we don't want them to be able to get their heels in the ground and come off quickly. And then it didn't work at one time because they blocked it. I think we kicked it low, but then they blocked it. So um, it's just a way of, of, again, controlling the tempo. No, he hadn't fizzled out at all. He, and he's, and in fact, I think he's still playing better. But we got um, Fred Perry was out the first two games, and now he's in. So they play the same position. In, yeah. yeah, he's still going to be playing a lot. And, but you know, Fred, Fred's when Fred does what Fred's supposed to do, he's one of our better football players. So just got to keep Fred focused. Trey, we'll start with you. Um, just share some thoughts on what you saw for your position. Share some thoughts on what those guys in front were able to do and those holes that you were able to create. Um, all practice, all practice all week, which has been working on the little details and the kinks. And today, they finally came together. Tell them from your spot in the secondary, mm -hmm. just share some thoughts on some of the big improvements you guys made and the big step forward you made today. Um, I think just playing as a team, um, it showed on the field. You know what I'm saying? Communicating. We we knew we had it there, but we just had to. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things that um, we had to pit, put together, and I think it all came together today. Uh, we had confidence. We were playing fast, and I think it showed on the field. Questions for the guys? Uh, for both players, it seemed like you guys were playing really hungry. Is that fair to say? Yes, I would say. <laughs> Can you describe kind of what it was? Uh, from the start of the season, like, it ain't start off how we want it, but actually, this week, coach said we got to be hungry. And that's what came in. Yeah, I, I would agree with what he was saying. Um, we, you know, we know we could do better as a team. Um, like he said, the start to the season uh, wasn't what we expected and wasn't what we want. And, um, we think we still, we know we still can uh, flip the season. And so we wanted to get out here today, you know what I'm saying, have a great game, come together as a team. And like you said, coach uh, wanted us to be hungry this week, and that's what we were. So I think it showed on the field for sure. In those first two defensive drives, just talk about kind of what you guys are seeing in the secondary. And also, you know, four different players had a, an interception. Uh -huh. What does that say about the secondary? Um, we, like I said, we know we have a, a, a great team. Um, it's just things that, you know, we had to get together, uh, like playing confident, playing hungry. And I think it showed. We know what we can do. Uh, we know we got a long way to go, but um, we just wanted to show what we can do today. So. Defense got six turnovers as a whole. Mm -hmm. Was there a focus on that this week? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, um, we haven't been doing enough as a defense. And um, we, we played team ball today. Um, when we got turnovers, the offense scored. And when they scored, we, we came out, tried to do what we can do. And um, yeah, we just wanted to play fast, play physical, and I think that's that's what happened. So. Obviously, there's a long stretch once you get back after the final week, it's mm -hmm. eight and nine weeks. I think you get some extra rest in there with the midweeks, but mm -hmm. kind of how do you continue this level of play going into conference play? Um, just leaning on each other, uh, take care of our bodies, uh, taking advantage of this bye week. Like you said, um, just making sure we're healthy, um, 
and, and doing the extra things to, to stay healthy. So, Trey, two things. Uh, yes. One, it seems you guys kind of, you know, one of the goals this week yeah. was um, improving in short yardage situations. You guys were six for 11 on third down. Yes, so how did you guys improve that? And then second thing, just um, when you were in the portal, what was it about Jacksonville State that just um, stuck out to you? Um, Jacksonville State, the coaches, they talked about hard edge, coming in, working. And that's what I wanted to do, honestly. And then the short yardage, actually, me and Tyler was talking, like, we got to get better on third downs, honestly. And that's what came in, executed. Um, what was the locker room like after the game? Amazing. Yeah. It was happy. Um, we know we need to uh, get that first win, and we're excited, um, as we should be. But we know we got to keep going, so. Are you guys glad you've got a break next week, or would you prefer to have a game next Saturday? Uh, either or is fine, no matter. <laughs>